Uh, dear friends, I have news for you. Training is submaximal. The training is submaximal. Effective, good training, quality training is submaximal. Um, trying to do your do, do some, you know, to beat, do do new max in your training, uh, going. Uh, balls to the wall every training session and stuff this is like uh, inexperienced people who don't know what they are doing um, take uh, Usain Bolt for uh, for example uh, he doesn't come there and he's in train in training session he's going to do some maximal sprints he he doesn't just go on you know on a track and try to beat his own record but that is world record in 100 meter sprint each time he runs he doesn't do that these sprints are not maximal you know he he tries to run it f very fast go close to his maximum that's it the olympic weightlifters powerlifters you know strongman people they save uh, this maximum for competition so they're when they're training they're like developing their athletic abilities what they need in their sport and call it a day that's it you know, like sometimes they don't go hard, sometimes they go close to the maximum. But normal, like maximum is reserved. You go in the competition, you do your max. You know, like you, you just don't know go and um, you know the, a boxer doesn't go to the the boxing gym every night, every evening to to train, and you know he goes to the the heavy bag and he just you know throws a big cross like uh, strong as he can hit. And then, and then try to repeat it every time. No, that it doesn't work, you know. You're, you're going to, like, collapse. <laughs> and it's not effective. If you if you watch uh, the elite athletes and Olympic athletes, of course, they are training daily very hard and uh, uh, intense. But it's, like, well, well below their maximum. Well below the maximum. Because the training is something, like, uh, the most effective way is... Uh, to do your training regularly and to train some fairly like medium hard training but this is well well below the maximum you know but I, I see in the gym every day every time i go to the gym i see the the guys trying to like uh, e even in like loading the the weights they they cannot even budge even do some maximum they try to do the maximum every time and um people who are like uh, not fit to run and they decide to go for a run then he said i am going to run like 10 k's you know 10 kilometers and even even like walking five kilometers is a training for him so um you have to you have to train smart uh success leaves clues and um uh, if you if you watch uh the top athletes train you know it's the training you organized, it's a lot of training is like a stretching, warming up, uh, cooling down, uh, mobility work. Uh, uh, there's uh, like aerobic work is very easy. And uh, sometimes the, the gym session is like not so hard. There are easy days, harder days and stuff like this. But uh, training is sub-maximal, you know. Um, if you don't believe me, just go and watch watch uh, the elite athletes train. Go at the uh, track and field uh, stadium and 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 watch the the throwers, jumpers, uh, and sprinters train. And uh, you are going to see that um, uh, you have to understand these people uh, at the elite level. It might look look like they are training very very hard, very very intense. Of course, they are at the top level. But they are not uh, nowhere their maximum most of the time. Um, so uh, quality training is uh, like you build, you are building base, you are building your abilities, and you are training within your own uh, capacity. Uh, so uh, apply my advice to your training. Don't do some stupid shit, get injured, uh, burned out, and stuff like this. Uh, nobody trains. Uh, at their maximum every day. It's not possible. Effective good training is sub-maximal.